Hodgkin lymphoma is a kind of glandular cancer, often presenting in young patients, and although often successfully treated with initial treatment, if it relapses, and particularly in patients where an autologous transplant has failed to salvage patients, those patients may have a very poor outcome, and good treatments to help those patients are limited. Uh, nivolumab, a new anti-PD-1 antibody, has proven in a recent study now to be very successful in uh, causing those patients to have a good response to treatment. This clinical trial specifically focused on patients with relapsed Hodgkin lymphoma. These were patients that had had a lot of previous treatment, including many of them an autologous stem cell transplant, and for whom the disease had come back. Patients were treated with a new agent called nivolumab. It targets a protein on the outside of cells called PD-1, and in the study was highly successful. 87% uh, of the patients, 20 out of 23, had a very good response to treatment. A, a PD-1 blocker stops the immune system from being switched off. A natural phenomenon when you've been exposed to an infection or some other kind of immune activating event would be for immune cells, particularly T cells, to express a protein on the surface of the cell called PD-1. And it is a way in which the immune system then is damped down or switched off. A kind of a go home, everything's okay kind of message. Cancer hijacks that and has that message to the immune system and effectively switches off the immune system. So by using an antibody that blocks this PD-1 off switch, if you like, allows the immune system to stay active and target the cancer cells. This is again a very promising therapy for patients with relapsed Hodgkin lymphoma and trials are currently underway and in fact accruing very quickly uh, to expand the uh, testing of this nivolumab agent in patients with Hodgkin lymphoma. So there is a large again multi-center study underway uh, which is accruing patients. Obviously the next step beyond that would be to begin to look at combination approaches because other agents have activity and in combination with PD-1 blockade using nivolumab may be very promising for the future.